How can we trust the CCP to care for and protect our athletes? The answer is we can't. We shouldn't. Joining me now is Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State, Fox News contributor. Mr. Secretary, these Olympics are poised to be a massive PR coup for President Xi, and yet we're plowing right ahead. Good evening, Laura. Great to be with you. Look, I've been calling for us not to let our athletes go to Beijing for a long time now. Uh, I really regret that the leadership in the United States and the IOC has failed these athletes. I, I love the Olympics like anybody. My mother took me to the LA Olympics. I saw Carl Lewis run. We were sitting in some really high up seats at the LA Coliseum. I, I love this event, uh, but your point's well taken. We shouldn't prop up Xi Jinping. This will become known as the Genocide Olympics. What's taking place in Western China is nothing short of genocide. We shouldn't forget, too, this virus that you were talking about at the beginning of your show came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Almost certainly, that is, this virus was foisted on the world. And then second, not only are we propping up one of the greatest human rights violating leaders in all of recorded history, but we're putting our athletes in a very difficult place. Imagine one of them wants to say something about Tiananmen Square or they want to talk about the Wuhan Institute of Virology. I, I promise you the chance of them getting their exit visa will be low. And those athletes should all know, too, that Beijing is the most surveilled city in the world, whether it's their cell phones or their iPads or whatever it is or something they're saying to someone else. You can bet that the Chinese Communist Party will be able to track everything they do, every place they go and everything they say, and they will record it. It will be used for Chinese Communist Party purposes for time ongoing. Uh, now, just days ago, uh, this is a little notice story uh, in The Washington Post. It revealed that China was mining for social media data on Westerners, a post-review of bidding documents and contracts for over 300 Chinese government projects since the beginning of 2020 include orders for software designed to collect data on foreign targets from sources such as Twitter, Facebook, and other Western social media. I guess I'm in trouble, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> Ask me if I care. Um, no one's covered this except this one piece, uh, thankfully, in The Washington Post. You know, I hadn't seen the most recent reporting, but I certainly know precisely what it is they're talking about. It was on your show, goodness, might have been as much as a year ago when we first yep. talked, or more than a year ago when we first talked about the risk from TikTok, right? The fact that the Chinese were surveilling every data set and surveilling kids here in the United States who were using TikTok. They, there, there is no such thing as a private entity. There's no such thing as private information. This is all owned by the Chinese Communist Party. It's all controlled by the Chinese Communist Party and will all be used for the purposes of Xi Jinping. And we have seen... This is the person who doesn't care about basic dignity for any human being. He's throwing reporters in jail in Hong Kong. He's taking the Uyghurs in the West and uh, interring them in things that look very much like what was taking place in Germany in the 1930s. Uh, and we, of course, have spoken about this virus that has now killed millions of people across the world. Uh, this all came from the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, they should be held accountable for each of these things, and they should not be permitted to benefit from the glory of the Olympic movement. I mean, it, the fact that we never got unique access into that Wuhan lab. We were never able to examine the an original documents, the investigation to who patient zero was. And yet, a, a year plus later, almost just a year exactly later, oh, it's just like, <laughs> applaud. Thank you, sir. May I have another? And he's going to be sitting there in all his splendor in the stadium bragging that they were able to control COVID in their country, of course, by welding people into their apartments. And we're and we're oh we're not sending diplomats there though, Mr. Secretary. That'll show them. Does that make a difference in the end that we're not send, sending diplomats no. there? N not a bit. Xi Jinping doesn't care. He's going to get a chance to stand on the world stage. He'll be carried by American media all across the world and global media on the opening night of the games, and there he'll sit, uh, talking to the world using pro Chinese propaganda tools all across the world, talking about this great democracy of China and what a wonderful nation it is. Uh, this is this is the debacle. It shows Mr. you that the IOC yeah, itself, Mr. Is, Mr. The IOC Secretary, itself is disconnected from the central things that matter. Now, Mr. Secretary, you've been an incredible leader and a voice on this, and we thank you.